Hey guys, Ronnie Godoy here, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, we're going to take a look at five shortcuts that can potentially increase your productivity. SolidWorks comes with a variety of tools to allow us to customize the software, as well as shortcuts that allow us to work a little bit faster. But oftentimes, there are shortcuts out there that we've never used or even some that we've just overlooked. So the purpose of this video is to take a look at five that will help you with your design work. Now I have a model open here, and if I look at my feature manager design tree, you'll see that I have a long list of entities that have been imported. So what I may want to do here is group these together to better organize my feature manager design tree. Now I can use the control key to select multiple entities at the same time, but that can be very time consuming, especially in a case like this where I have hundreds of entities that I may want to select at the same time. So in order to increase or decrease that time, I could go ahead and use my shift selection tool. The way that the shift selection tool works is it allows me to select a group of files that are next to each other by clicking on one file, holding my shift key in my keyboard, and then clicking the last file. So I'm going to go ahead and group imported curve one through 50 here. I'll select imported curve one, scroll all the way down to 50, hold the shift key in my keyboard and select imported curve 50. And so SolarWorks is going to select all of those items between those two selections. And then I could go ahead and group this to its own folder. And just like that, I'm able to quickly select all of those items using my shift key. Now this, these next couple of shortcuts are going to be specific to sketches. I've already created this sketch here and I'm going to go ahead and add an additional line to this sketch. Now we know SolarWorks has inference lines that are going to allow us to capture vertical and horizontal lines and it automatically captures sketch relationships such as, such as coincident and this midpoint sketch relationship there. But if I wanted to quickly avoid capturing those relationships, I could hold the control key on my keyboard and as I'm holding control and move my cursor over these inference lines, you'll notice that they no longer give me vertical horizontal relationships or coincident and midpoint relationship like in this area here. So if I wanted to avoid adding those relationships automatically, I could go ahead and hold the control key on my keyboard and my entities will have those relationships added to them. Now this next one is going to be specific to circles and arcs. So I'm going to go ahead and create a circle out here. And if I wanted to add a dimension to the circle from this edge, SolidWorks is by default going to dimension to the center of that circle. But let's say I want to dimension from this inner edge here or even dimension to this outer edge. The way I would do that is by using my shift key on my keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and dimension one more time, select this edge here, hold the shift key down, and depending on where I move my cursor, I could either capture this inner dimension or I could capture this outer dimension here, let go of my shift key, and it's going to lock that orientation and I could go ahead and place this in my graphics area just like that. Now this next shortcut is going to be specific to the different sketch tool that I use. So if I go in here and select my rectangle tool, I know that there's just a variety of different types of ways to create this geometry. And so if I wanted to choose a different type here, I would just manually click my mouse key to the one I want to select. But a quicker way to do this is by using the A key on my keyboard, and that's going to allow me to toggle between the different types in my property manager. So that way I could quickly and easily toggle between the different types and add the geometry I want to add. Now one of the last shortcuts I want to show you guys here is, per, is specific to this feature manager design tree. So notice how I have some items here that are expanded. That's going to give me a long feature manager design tree and it looks a little bit cluttered. So the way I could collapse these items quickly is by using the shift and C key on my keyboard and SolarWorks is going to collapse all of those expanded items just like that. Now this last shortcut is a bonus one that I wanted to show you guys. So let's say I wanted to add a circular pattern for this hole here. And when it's time to choose my feature and face, I'm going to go ahead and use this flyout feature manager design tree. Now one of the tools that I could use to expand and collapse this is using the C in my keyboard, I could go ahead and expand and collapse that pretty quickly. It allows me to select 
the feature that I want to use. And then I could go ahead and add my feature just like that. So I'm going to do this one more time for my mirror tool. Select this right plane, select this feature here. And if there is geometry here that I want to select, I could go ahead and select the C on my keyboard to collapse that flyout feature manager design tree. This was just a quick video to show you guys those five shortcuts to increase your productivity. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog at www.hawkridgesys.com.